ערב טוב רבותיי. We're coming now to, uh, you know, there's another, there's another important day. You know, we had Yom Kippur. So there's also another Yom Kippur now coming. You know which one I'm talking about? Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur? I'm talking about the elections, the day of the elections, which is next Tuesday. Right? Uh, coming up now. So the truth is, you know, that a lot of people don't know this, but uh, it's a mitzvah to go vote, you know, uh, because this affects us. Whatever you vote for, whoever you vote for, this is what you're going to get. So a person has to go and vote, you know. Maran, Rav Adel Vashvam, he used to say, say, Leshem Yuchud and vote. You know, Leshem Yuchud is mitzvah. Like this, he used to tell him. Huh? No, no, the whole Leshem Yuchud. You know? <laughs> say like this, you know. He was, you know, maybe joking a little bit, whatever. But the point is, you know, to teach you that, to teach you that it's a mitzvah to vote, you know. And the problem is like this, you know, we come... All of us, we come from the Soviet Union, you know, right? Uh, you know, and uh, over there, there was nothing to vote for. You know, they told you who was the new president, who was the new, right, uh, Communist Party leader, you know. Uh, they, they would ask in the morning, you know, I remember my parents would say, okay, who did they, who did they choose, you know, who did they choose? Yeah, but here, we choose, not they choose, we choose, you know. So it's a little bit different. A person has to understand, you know. Uh, a person has to understand that here in America, it's democracy. We choose. We have to go and vote. I'll tell you something interesting. You want to know? You want to hear the truth? In New York, you know, usually the Democrats win. Yeah. Right? Usually, right? Yeah. When was the last time Republican president won over here? You know which, who it was? Reagan. Reagan, right. No. In, in, 1980, in 1988, Reagan. Whatever it was, right? 1984, yeah. whatever it was. Sure. But anyway, right? Reagan won in New York. So the truth is, you know, it's possible for also Republicans to win in New York. And they're more close to us, you know, more close to religion, more close to God, yeah. more close to, you know, the morals that we, you know, our values, the Jewish values, they're closer to us than the other side. You know, the other side, they're, they have no God, you know, and I'm Elohim. They have no, <laughs> they have no, they have no God, they have no religion, they have no morals, they have nothing, they have nothing, zero, right? They, have no, they don't have nothing, you know, you know what I'm talking about. The left, you know, it's no good. Small, right? Small. You know, right? The word small, left, in Hebrew, you know what it also means, right? Samech mem aref, you know, the satan. The small is the satan. So if, you, if you're voting for the small, you're voting for the left, you're voting for satan. That's what you're voting for. You're not voting to come close to Hashem. So the thing is, you know, there are a lot of people, unfortunately, that come from the Russia, you know, come from Britam Watsot, the, uh, you know, the Soviet Union. All of us, we come from there. The thing is, you know, we don't understand this concept, you know, of voting, you know. We don't know. We're not used to it. We weren't, we weren't born with these, you know, we didn't grow up with these kind of values. And because of that, most of us, you know, we don't go to vote. This is the problem. It's a very big problem, I'll tell you. Because our mentality is like this, you know. Eh, it doesn't matter. Eh, you know. It's like, uh, you know, they, it's, they cheat anyway. You know, it's all lies. It's all fraud. It's all, you know, it's all... No, don't talk like that. Go and vote. I mean, you are the one who can make the difference, you know, by you voting. I'll tell you the truth. The truth is that if all the people who come, you know, from 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 Britain, from Soviet Union, if they would all vote, I guarantee you, every time there will be Republican over here, a president chosen in New York. We have enough people, I'm telling you, from our community to choose a Republican. You know, just if we would, we would go and vote. The problem is, most of us, probably about 80%, we're not going to vote. You understand? This is the problem. You know, so we're losing. You know what happens, right? Ma'an used to say, oh, Shalom, Rambadia, Rambadia, our great rabbi, he used to say, if you don't go to vote, you know, it's like you're giving power to the other side. Because the less people that vote, you know, the more power they have on the other side. This is the problem, you understand? So this is the, this is the misconception. You know, a lot of people, say, they say like you, you know, eh, it doesn't matter. Ah, they cheat anyway. It's all lies. It's all... No, go and vote. It's not, it's real. Yeah, okay, they do cheat sometimes, you know, they cheat sometimes. It's true. But, but it doesn't matter, but still, you know, it makes a difference. You know what I mean? Don't think that it's nothing. It's not nothing. They cheat, yes. But you know what? If you, if everybody goes and it's going to be so many people, they're not going to be able to cheat anymore. Only when it's close, they can cheat, you know, a little bit, you know, close. One percent, two percent, half percent, then they can cheat. But when there's twenty percent, ten percent, they cannot cheat anymore. It's not possible. 
And that's the thing, you know? So every person has to, you know, now, if you're not registered to vote, first of all, right, go register to vote, first of all. You can do it on your phone, you know? No big deal. It's nothing, you know? And then when you register, you will go to vote, right, on the day of the elections, on Tuesday, whatever. You can go also early. They have also early. You can go early also. I think this whole week, you know, they have, they have, they have already, you can go vote. You know what I mean? So I'm telling you, it does make a difference, and it's a mitzvah, because if you don't vote for the good side, you're going to get the bad side. That's what you're going to get, you know? And then you're going to say, oh, 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 look at this crazy, crazy person. What is he doing? You know? Uh, yeah, but you, you didn't vote for, for the other side. You didn't vote for the good side. So this is now, you know, it's your fault also. Also, you know, there are some people who vote for the wrong people as well, you know? So they make a mistake. Also in Israel, you know, I remember when uh, Maran, you know, used to tell us to go and vote. He used to tell us, go only vote for the religious parties. Not for Likud, you know? Why? Because Likud, you know? Yeah, okay, they're closer to us, you know? We're, you know, we're brothers, but still, you know, they don't believe so much in Torah. They don't believe in so much in Halakha, all these things. They don't believe so much. Yeah, they you know, yeah, you know? Right, Shelebele, you know, not so good. No, no, you know what I mean? So because of that, it's not a religious party, you know what I mean? It's a, it's a traditional kind of thing, you know, whatever. So it's not so good. So Maran used to say, if you go for, vote for Likud, or somebody like this, you know, it, this gonna be, they're going to judge you for this in Shemaim. You know, they're going to say, what did you do? You know, you voted for these people? They don't have no kippah, they have no irat Shemaim. They have no, no Torah, nothing, these people. So you vote for them? You go and vote for the people who are irat Shemaim. So we can have more Torah, so we can have more Judaism, you know, Yadut. We can have more good things. You know, this is what we want, you understand? It's, it's up to us, you know, that... Uh, it's not, you know, you shouldn't think, by the way, you shouldn't think that it's a, such a small thing. I tell you, in New York City, you should know that there's 100,000 just Bukharians, if I'm not mistaken. 100,000. If they would all go and vote, I'm telling you, it would change the, it would change the results. You should know. Not only 100,000 Bukharians, also 100,000 Syrians. You know? You think it's a small thing. It's not 200,000 people. It's not a small thing. You know? There's also not a, also not a, a lot of religious people, you know? Haredim, Hasidim. They don't vote also. They don't go to vote. You know? And this is a big problem. If they would go, I'm telling you, we would win. Every time. Because people are lazy, you know? Yeah. You know, I'll find out tomorrow, you know? Yeah, I'll, I'll turn on the... Uh, the, the, the computer, and I'll find out who won, right? What do you mean who won? You're the one who's supposed to decide who won. Yeah, no, not, not just to see, you know, next day, right? Yeah, he won. Okay, yeah. okay. But what about you? You didn't do nothing? You did nothing? You know? So, Ravan Cutler, you should know, right? He was the Rosh Hashiva of Lakewood. He was here in Lakewood. He was a big chacham over here, one of the big chachamim. He used to go, when, when there was elections in Israel... He used to go over there and campaign for the religious party, Agudat Israel. They should win, you know? He used to go there actively. Even though he was learning Torah, he was doing all kinds of things, he was doing education, he was teaching Torah, whatever he was doing doesn't make any difference. He was going over there just to, for the elections. And he used to say like this, you know? He said that Yom, elections is like, is like Yom Kippur, you know? Uh, why? Because if you, it's like judgment, you know? If you don't, if you don't elect the right person, you're going to be judged for that. My aunt used to say like this also, my rabbi, my rabbi used to say, if you vote for the wrong person, you know, they're going to judge you. They're going to say upstairs, they're going to say, ah, you see, I, you, you, did, you did this, you know, you did abortion. You did, uh, you know, you did all kinds of bad things, you know, homosexual. You did all kinds of things. And he's going to say, I didn't do that. What, I, I, didn't, I didn't do abortion. I didn't do right uh, homosexual. I wasn't homosexual. I was married. I was a regular guy. But they're going to say, yeah, but you voted for them. You voted for those people who support these things. Uh, so you're just like them. You see, that's the thing, you know. They're going to judge you like that. That's what the Mahan used to say, you know. So you have to be careful about that, you know. Register to vote and vote. This is the way, this is the only way, you know, to, uh, to, to, to participate, you know, in this whole thing. Otherwise, you're just sitting there. Yeah, okay, they, they took this one, huh? They chose him, huh? Oh, okay. We're not, this is not communist country, you know. You, you find out in the morning who they chose. You got to do it yourself. This is the whole thing, you know? That's the whole, that's the whole idea. So, you got to go, you know, and do it. And, Bezal Hashem, you know, I'm telling you, if all, if all of us would go, it would change everything. I remember, you know, last time, when I first came to America, you know, I was in Israel, I came back to America, and there was elections eight years ago. This was eight years ago, you know? And I saw, I voted for Trump, you know? Yeah, because, you know, Trump is, he's our friend, you know? If you don't understand that, you got a problem, you know? If you think the other side is good for us, they're not good for us. 
They're not good. Very bad. They hate us. They, they, they're against us. You understand? They play all kinds of games with us. So I voted for Trump, you know, but the problem was, I'll tell you, I made a mistake, you know? What was the mistake? I saw over there for senator, senator, senator. You know who I saw over there? Schumer, you know, Schumer. He's Jewish, you know, lives in Brooklyn, Schumer. And I voted for him because I said, oh, he's a Jewish guy. He's a good boy, huh? He's our brother. But turns out he's not our brother. He hates us also, you know? He's anti-Semite, you know, this guy, this guy, you know? So you have to be careful, you know? Sometimes you see a Jewish name, and you think, oh, yeah, he's good, good boy, Jewish boy. No, he's not Jewish boy. He's, he, hates, he hates the Jews. He hates Israel. He hates everything. You know, he's anti-Semite. You know, like this also, this guy, uh, Bernie Sanders. You know, uh, you know this is a Sone Israel. You know, he's Jewish. He comes from Brooklyn. He's number one Sone Israel. Number one in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the Washington over there. In the number one Sone Israel. You know, all the Sone Israel go with him together. You know, the one, the, all the anti-Semites. You see, right, not always somebody with a Jewish name, he's the best thing, you know? No, that's not the best thing. Sometimes, sometimes the Goy is better, because the Goy loves Israel, he loves the Jewish people, he loves, you know, religion, he's closer to us, you know? So you have to sometimes vote for somebody who's a Goy, it's better than the Jew. Because this Jew, you know, he's Erev Rav, Shem Yachem, Erev Rav. This is not Jewish, you know? This Jewish name, yeah, Jewish name, but phony, 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 right? Fake, fake, all fake. I remember, you know, when... You want to hear something interesting? This guy Schumer, you know, this, he's a bad boy, you know, bad boy. So he's a, I remember when he was first, you know, trying to get elected to the Senate, he was a congressman, you know. So I remember he came over there when I was praying over there, 71st, you know, the old shul over there, the Bukharian shul, 71st, you know, the old one, before they build, build, build the new one. So he came over there to campaign, you know, to, to tell the Bukharians, yeah, I'm a good boy, Jewish boy. You gotta vote for me. Yeah, but then we saw he's not a Jewish boy, he's a fake, you know? Sonay Israel, right? Number one Sonay Israel over there in the Congress. Him and Bernie Sanders. Both of them Jewish, but both of them Sonay Israel. So we gotta be careful, you know, you have to make sure you know who you're voting for. It doesn't matter because he has a Jewish name. Baruch Amen, Amen. Amen.